my name is Isabella Kwong, and I'm going to be talking to you about the Garifuna, which is basically just a group of people of both Afro and Carib descent. So um, I think one of the most important values of humanity is identity, and that could be political identity, individual identity, cultural identity. I think it's just so, so important to a lot of different people, both back then and now, especially now during the present times. And I think that the identity is different for every single person, but there is that same common struggle that a lot of different people go through in order to create their own identity, unique identity that sets them apart from the rest. I think that we can all relate in this common struggle as a lot of different cultural groups from different ethnic backgrounds try to find their identity in the world that makes them unique and that makes them different. And the Garifuna people are no different. What I want to present to you today is that through music, so I'll be analyzing music, the Garifuna people were able to create a unique national identity to sustain the longevity of their culture for generations because of the exclusivity of their uh, music styles that are specific to Garifuna culture. I will go into that more about how music was able to really preserve their national identity and create this special commonality between the Garifuna people. So first of all, I just want to start off with a brief history. Um, the history of the Garifuna people is truly a story of perseverance. It all started in 1635 when two African slave ships capsized near St. Vincent Island, right over here. In order to find refuge on the nearest island, the slaves climbed aboard onto St. Vincent Island. And um, during that time, the Caribs already invaded the area and they were indigenous to the area, so it was like their own territory. So the slaves were entering the Carib territory. There they intermarried and they mingled and shared their cultural values and traditions, and they created a whole new race, which is really interesting, called the Garifuna people. And it's really interesting because they first settled in St. Vincent Island, but the, as you know, there's a war going on between the French and the British, so they were relocated all the way over here to the coast of Honduras, and they were forced to settle over here and migrate all this way across the Caribbean Sea to the coast of Honduras in order to create their own community. So it was a very, very, very hard journey for them. And um, this is a picture right here of the slaves entering the island. And actually, in November of 1802, they first stepped foot in Honduras, and it marks a national holiday that's recognized today by a lot of different Latin American countries. So one of the questions that may be present in your minds is why music, why does music define them as a culture? And that is because their music is what's different about them. It's something that they take pride in because it is a commonality that they share only amongst the Garifuna people. And so no other culture has like this unique Garifuna sound. And this Garifuna sound is, if I had to sum it up in one word, raw. And it's very, very basic with traditional instruments. It's very, very um, simple. And there's not a lot of different elements to it, which makes it really special to the Garifuna people. So this is how they're able to preserve it. Um, and this is just showing that like their language and their different types of arts and their food were all very similar to different Latin American countries. So music was basically the way that they showed their difference and how they were unique as a culture. And it was just a way to um, bond and maintain their historical memory. One of the main styles of music of the Garifuna people is Punta. And Punta is really, really famous, um, especially today. And they've transformed it into Punta Rock, where they added electric guitar. And it's really, really famous, and it basically consists of the Garifuna drums in the background, and usually dances in the front, who control the beat of their drums with their hips. And this type of music is still greatly celebrated across festivals all around that are held by Garifuna communities in Los Angeles, in Honduras, in any different place. Um, and it's really, really important because through this, they can tell stories of how they persevered through a time of change and turmoil, and they could tell stories of their perseverance 
And it's also really important because during a time when they had to move from coast to coast and they had to go from St. Vincent Island to Honduras, there was a lot of change in their lives, but music was the only thing that was kept constant. So it was their commonality and their thing that they could rely on. And so that's what really bonded them and kept them from just dispersing into nothing. So another reason why I think that music was really important to them is because it was a way for them to tell stories of their past and to show their perseverance and how they were able to overcome that as a culture and they were able to show that they could resist against all the different challenges that came their way. So it's basically a story of perseverance as I mentioned before and their music is very, very evident of that. Um, and music was the principal form of storytelling during the time because it was very, very simple for everyone to pick up. Therefore, everyone could relate to it in different ways. Um, and it was something that was accessible to everyone. So as I mentioned before, there's an important element of punta music, and that is the garifuna drums. And these drums are made from hollowed out trees that are covered with animal skin. And this is one of the most important instruments because it is the only instrument that's used in punta music, um, aside from punta rock. Um, and it's really important because it really creates that garifuna sound that's different than the rest, and it has a certain beat to it, which further makes them different than everyone else and more unique, making them have their own national identity. So for my field study, I was privileged to go to the garifuna music festival, where I was able to listen to all different types of Garifuna music, including Punta music, and here's a clip of a song that they actually, of one of the Punta bands, actually created on the spot just by using their drums and feeling the rhythm of the beat. out of basically nothing. They took both African and Carib ideas but then created their own unique sound and new idea and unique history and I think that's really important that we can take from that and draw from that and learn lessons. And we can also learn, to learn about how they almost created this nuanced version of history because they used music as a form of resistance. And they were able to come together through music to maintain their historical memory as a group, and I think that it speaks volumes about minority groups throughout the world and how they come together using their own version of history. Thank you.